Hello and welcome to the horror movie tag. But before I get started I just want to say that the video that I've just uploaded was meant to be uploaded yesterday and I just couldn't because it just took too long to save. Um, I just want to make that clear just in case you watched that video first before this one because in it it states that I was going to do the Halloween the horror movie tag um, tomorrow, that's today. So yeah, that's that's out of the way. So let's go into it. Um, I searched randomly on YouTube of two videos um, relating to the horror movie tag. So I got a bunch of questions from both. So just to, just to make just to add just, just to add it on really. So overall, I have um, nineteen questions. Um, I haven't cheated beforehand. I didn't go on the internet for anything. I just looked into my horror cupboard which I say the horror cupboard because it's mostly of horror DVDs so yeah let's get started shall we so what's the page um, number one is what was the very first horror movie you remember watching um, as I said in my other my last video I my mum bought, bought me up on horror, horror movies with me and my brother, I think we were, I was younger than my brother, he was like two years older than me, so I was 12, he was 14. Um, so the very first time we were watching, I barely remember watching Exorcist, though I do remember getting scared from it, so I do actually, I barely watching it, barely remember watching it, but I do remember watching The Omen, the original one in the 70s, I can't remember exactly what date it was, but in the 70s, with the Gregory, Gregory Peck in it. Um, that just scared me. It just I think really the soundtrack scared me more than anything. Um, but yeah, it creeped me out really. The music did. Um, but especially the first scene where the the nurse hangs herself um, on the on the what I don't know how tall the building was, the five story building or something. And yeah, that just that just scared me just by that first scene. Um, number two, what's my favourite horror movie genre? Um, I do love her Halloween, that's like a slasher. Um, I do love the idea of Jason Voorhees, but I just don't like the whole sex, sexual scenes and I just don't like it, so that's just what puts me off. Have it, but I have actually I have actually got Jason X, that's quite violent. I've still got that violent bit in it where he crushes, she puts the um, ladies head in the freezing cold water and head head sc skull just ices up and then he crashes it on the table smashes it and that's still really gory that's one of the gory things I can still say about it but yeah I my favorite horror movie genre um I do like really weird ones uh horns adapted from from the book by Um, Joe, Joe. I heard he was the son of the of um yeah Joe I think son of Stephen King I'm not sure, but yeah I like that it's got a mixture of romance mixture of horror, and the fact that I've read the book anyway and I thought the book was really good, as well obviously it has more information but I enjoyed the horn I like horns so it's got like clever villain in it horns hasn't got a clever villain but um he's a hero like anti villain almost. So I like I like um, horror movies in mental asylums, some really freaky ones. I like Hereditary. That's not it is a horror, but it's like a thriller in it, and like uh, Quentin Tarantino esque really twists. And I like things like Saw with a really clever villain, though he's not really a villain. You feel sorry for the villain. Um, it's this new movie out called. I don't know if it's out or not now or next year, but it's called Mandy. It's got Nicolas Cage. I mentioned that in my video just gone. That's got a mixture of like Lovecraftian, a um, bit like Suspiria, I guess. Um, very, it's it's an, an acquired taste. So it's got like weird stuff in it, and it just reminds me of um, when. I watch the Nadia Suarez channel when Mark talks about it. Um, 
it has that Outlast vibe in it where it's all about cults and religion and that, you know, really freaky shit. And that's, I haven't played Outlast, but I've watched it. I've watched who else um, walk through on it and uh, it's really weird shit. I like it. I like the occult, occult stuff on it. So, yeah, that's number two. Number three, what horror movie genre scares me the most? Um, I don't know, really. Um, I guess the Clockwork, Clockwork Orange was... The whole actually bringing in of the soundtrack. Um, I, don't, I just don't like the fact that they bring in really nice, old, nice songs and turn it really creepy. I don't like that. So I don't, don't know what, really what horror movie scares me the most because uh, I'm very sceptical nowadays because uh, classic horror movies are the best. Um, with the exception of Hereditary, which I'll always keep on mentioning. And hopefully Mandy, I don't know. Um, number four, what horror movies actually scared me? Um, the second time I watched Paranormal, Paranormal Activity in my room in the dark, that scared me because I was on my own and on the first time I was with my mum downstairs watching it and that, I guess, that didn't really scare me but the second time it did, I had nightmares, I couldn't sleep, I didn't want to sleep so simply because when she was possessed by the demon and of the whole, whole paranormal thing, I, I guess, the second time around it scared me um, okay, number five, concept I like to see in horror. I like, to, as I mentioned, I like the occult, religion type weirdness of horror films. Um, a mixture of paranormal, I guess, but not too heavily on it. Like, The Woman in Black, I don't really find that scary, though. I, if Lovecraft, I want to find it scary. Um, I like to see like a time travel slash mental asylum with a mixture of Outlast 2 in it and a mixture of Gothica and the whole switching, role switching of the bodies, you know, Halle Berry switches between the doctor and the person actually in the mental asylum. And I like The Shining, uh, so a mixture of like weirdness and stuff. Number six, favourite on screen kill. Um, I can't... I've got one thing in mind, it's not really kill, but it's nowhere Leatherface emerges from the from the pantry, I think, or the yeah, pantry, I don't know what it was, with the chainsaw. It's a really iconic scene where he just Was it a chainsaw or was it with a like a a meat a meat basher? And he dra he not he bang he smashes it on his head and he drags it into the pantry. That's probably an iconic scene. Number seven, favourite horror franchise? Saw. Yep. I I've got the whole box set. I I think I got you know, I've got the first the first batch of it I think where they got the hologram holographic holographic um thing on the front with uh, Jigsaw and John Kramer, the mixture between the two. So I I would like to say Halloween but I can't remember seeing all of the Halloween films. Other than H two O Resurrection and the other one. So yeah, that's my favourite horror franchise. Number eight, favourite horror director. Where's Craven? Yep, he uh, he did Nightmare on Elm Street, he did Scream and the remake of Last Last House on the Left. Yeah, I know it's got I don't know it's got the rape scene in it. But and I know I don't like sexual scenes and stuff like that, but I guess I could get away with it because at the end of it it's got that's where the violence gets actually comes in and yeah, a very nice twist, and I really enjoyed it, and yeah, probably won't spoil it just in case you haven't seen it. Um, I, looked, look, I would like to say John Carpenter, but he only did uh, Halloween, I think. That's the only thing I think he did he made. Or Stanley Kubrick, he only made um, Shining and the Clock Clockwork Orange. So, quite of a, of a mixture. Number nine, favourite scary movie. Um, it doesn't scare me, but my favourite is Halloween and The Shining. Oh yeah, uh, first time I watched The Shining, yeah, I was obviously, uh, well, I don't know how old I was, but I was in my early teens, I think, and I, yeah, it scared me, um, with hope, but the blood, particularly when the blood came down the elevator, and that, and that's why I like Hereditary so much, because it's got some, I think it's got some subtle visual um, so subtle visual easter eggs in there. It's got a mixture of like The Shining with Tony Collette's face and it just sticks with you and that's where Danny makes the face 
as well and it's got the shot, beginning shot of the house and it goes in, it zooms in and that reminds me of a particular scene in that, scene in The Shining, I can't remember. Number 10, favourite Scream Queen has to be Jamie Lee Curtis. Number 11, what horror film do I not like? Okay, I don't like... I like the concept of Friday the 13th, but anything that puts me off this whole, this whole sexual stuff in it. Yeah, I just don't like the whole thing. I don't know why. I don't... I guess I'm like uh, Raven, the girl that I follow on on um, YouTube. She doesn't like whole sexual scenes, so yeah, I... Yeah, um, I don't like Cabin Fever. That comes on to that as well. Ghost stories, I don't find that much scary. Uh... I don't like, again, American Psycho, whole sexual stuff in it with uh, Christian Bale. It's got hip to be square. Oh, and it's got Gerolito in it. Yeah, I remember. I don't like where they actually turn creepy music into horror films. Um, there was one in... Uh, uh, in Singing in, Singin in the Rain and... And what was, what was it? What was that song in? It was in Clockwork Orange and that was what I just don't like the fact about that, but that's just going off topic. So, An Angel Heart with Mickey Walk, I think he was, the young Mickey Walk. Yeah, I remember watching that the first time I was young. Yeah, I don't like that bit. Twelve, what horror do I not like? Oh, what horror do I like? I like Get Out. It's... You know, hints of racism in it, but it's not it's something I've horrors have not done in this day and age. I don't think in the past that they've actually could do it, had the balls to do it. I like the quiet place. That was good. It was all like a silent film almost. It was all quiet, and got this alien type creature. But what I didn't understand is that um, why was it set in that particular area, not all everywhere and whole world. Um, I like the remake of House of Wax, that was really good, I love that film. I actually made a little story of the of Vincent, um, you know, included Vincent in one of my like stories, which obviously would have attained a lot of copyright on it, hence I, I haven't published it, obviously I'll get a lot of copyright on it. Um, I remember doing that, that was a very good time for me, I remember doing I remember watching that and really enjoying it, so um, yeah, if you want me to dig it out and show you, read some stuff on it, then I'll be happy to, because it's all printed out, and I, haven't, I still haven't finished it yet, but it's all in my head, I exactly know, I know the beginning, know the end, and the middle is difficult, but if you want me to dig it out, I'll be very happy to, because I can actually find it, I, I know where it is, and I can do it, so if you want me to, great, just comment. What was that? Number thirteen. Who was my fav? Who is my favorite horror villain? Michael Myers, of course. Number fourteen. Who is your worst villain? Um, I don't really know. Does that mean the crappy villain, the shitty villain, or does it mean the villain that um just was really you know not good? I guess uh, the creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Um. I remember the hype surrounding in in secondary school, and when I watched it, I thought oh, that's not scary at all. Pretty, sh <laughs> pretty shit. And I actually watched it the other day, and I thought um, it was like a spoof, almost like a B movie. <laughs> you know. Number fifteen. What was your worst horror film I've seen? Uh, there was Ghost Story. I should actually dig it out, but it's got. Um, it's a slow burner and it's unnecessarily funny as well. It's got this man who dies and he comes back as a ghost. So actually, reminds me a bit of Michael Myers where he, in that bedroom scene, he um, wears the, like a white cloak in like a ghost. And yeah, reminds me of that. And also Pie Wacket. I should, I should have dig, dug, dug these DVDs out, but I didn't. But yeah, Pie Wacket is about a cult. Even though I do like a whole cult thing, it's a bit, a bit, a bit. Mm. Yeah, I just got a thing about these teen horror movies that really suck. <laughs> so, um, in its day and age, anyway. Also, Ghost Ship, not the actual original one, but the one in 2010 or whatever it was. I couldn't really finish it. 
not the old first ghost ship that was good but the new, the new ghost ship i don't know if it was a remake or anything i get because i just don't know number 16 which horror do i think is overrated i'm sorry the babadook i got it when i was specifically in weymouth and that was my mum's birthday and i wasn't there here for mum's birthday i was away on holiday so for me it didn't scare me, I wanted the end result to scare me but it disappointed me, my, this is my point of view, um, so fortunately, sorry, 17 which horror do I think is underrated, hereditary maybe, I guess I understand it, I guess people like me, it's probably <laughs> intelligent, intelligent, intelligent horror, I guess, I guess people like me find it scary, um, I don't know which other horror I think is underrated, I don't know. Hence why I didn't look searching the internet beforehand, I just winged it mostly. 18, do you like spoof movies? No. I find them cringy and stupid. I remember, I haven't, I still, after all these years, I still haven't watched the Scream, what was it? Spoof movie of Scream. But I did actually watch Cab Cabin in the Woods, that was directed by um, Joss Whedon. I thought that was really good. It's got a uh, cameo appearance with Scotty Weaver. That was really good as well. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The spoof with, you know, the first one, of the old scream spoof thing. Horror spoof. Um, scary movie, yeah. Of course, it probably, I know it's meant to be cringy and meant to be very, like, um, B-movie-esque. But, yeah, I don't like spoof movies. 19. Okay, the last question. Because I think my voice is going. Name 13 horror villains. Animal or human? Okay, the first uh, would be Alien. He's a creature. Number two, Michael Myers. Number three, Jason Voorhees. Number four, Freddy Krueger. Number five, Leatherface. Slash, what's his actual name? Number six, John Kramer or Jigsaw. Number seven, Hellraiser, Pinhead. Eight, Scream Face or Ghost Face. <laughs> Call him Scream Face. Eight, Jack Torrance in The Shining, though he's an anti hero. I call him an anti hero. Just like Dracula, number nine, he's an anti hero because um, his wife thought he died in the war, so she committed suicide and that that what made him to be a vampire. I don't know how he ended up a vampire. Can't remember. Number ten, Damien, question mark, though he's an anti hero. He was possessed, so it's not an actual villain, he was just he was just a kid. Same with 13. I don't know, oh shit, I can't even remember number 13 because it's all all in crappy order here. Um, yeah, because with the alien as number one, whereas number 11. So Samara from The Ring, she's an anti villain as well, she was just a little girl. And uh, number, 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 I'd say Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Um, yeah, I think that's all. That's all the 13, in it? 13 horror villains? Yeah. I named every single one here. So yeah, that was my, um, horror movie tag. I was about to say Halloween movie tag. So it's Halloween today. But no, it's the horror movie tag. So that's it. Um, a quick little update regards to my guitar, if, well, regards to my guitar and piano. I'm still... I've been sidetracked by Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, but I aim to get back on track by doing some more covers. Though, of course, with life being quite busy and stuff like that, life gets in the way. And guitar, um, I'm still practicing. I just want I'm practicing a bit more and more. But obviously, life gets in the way. Yeah, that that's the updates for that. Uh, my next video will probably be um, my book review of the Monsters We Deserve. Um, most likely be. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!